All right. Well, first of all, I appreciate your patience and uh, sticking around for questions. Um, disappointed in the game. You know, anytime we step on the field, we, we expect to win. Uh, we want to put ourselves in a position to go out there and, and be successful and try to play the best football we played during the season. That didn't happen today. Georgia had a lot to do with that. Georgia's a very good team. Uh, I think they've proven throughout the season uh, why they're in the position that they're in. And, you know, they played, they played well. Uh, they're coached well. That shows up in, you know, our preparation as we watch them. Uh, that showed up today. Uh, and they made plays. So, you know, very good football team. Um, the type of team that we want to be, we want to be in that position. That's where we want Auburn football to be is to, to have a chance to go into every single game and, and be able to, to win, uh, be able to do all the things on special teams, offense and defense that, that we know we're capable of doing at a consistent basis. Um, and so they were able to do that tonight. So a lot of credit to, to Georgia. Um, and as far as our play, you know, there's things that, that we, you obviously see that on, the, on the, the field that we're going to have to clean up and be better at. Those are things that we practice. Uh, but that practice has to carry over into the game, and then the performance has to carry over into the game. And that's, that's coaches, players, everybody. Uh, that starts with me and, and remaining focused on the fundamentals of the game, the details that we have to have going into it, uh, and you know, making sure that every day leading up to Saturday is as important um, as game day in a way. Um, you know, sometimes game day's obviously got an energy of its own, but things that happen on Tuesday, they need to be corrected, and there's got to be a sense of urgency with that. You know, that will carry over into Saturdays. And that's, that's not a new message from this game. That's the message from day one with everybody here in the program is um, the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, really matter. And they will show up in the game, but more importantly, just that lifestyle that you know we'd like to have here in this program of the way that we get ourselves ready to go play is the most important thing. Um, and when we do that, that would give us the best opportunities to go play really good football and win. Um, and make no mistake about it, that is our number one goal when we step on the field is to win that game. And that did not happen today. Uh, we're all disappointed. And nobody's kind of throwing it up like Georgia's, you know, that good of a team. We just we felt like we could go out there and play better football and, and put ourselves in a better position to win this game. And that didn't happen. So when you play good football teams, uh, that's exactly what you have to do. You, you've got to play good football and you've got to have yourself ready and you've got to go out there and perform. Um, you know, and, and every single week there's a lot to prove. In my opinion, uh, I think every guy, every everybody on this staff, every player on this team, everybody in this program has a lot to prove every day. Um, and to me, that's that's a positive. That's something that uh, makes you want to be a part of uh, a team and wants you to be a part of a program that has that identity that you're trying to prove something every day so that you can be the very best you can. Uh, so didn't happen today. Um, Disappointed about that. Now we got to go back to work on Sunday, get ready for Arkansas and traveling, and and go out there and, and have a better performance than we did today. Um, so with that, questions. First question is from Brian Matthews. Recording uh, in progress. Hi Brian, I wanted to ask you about some missed opportunities there, especially in the first half. Two drives inside the ten, came away with just three points. Had the turnover, some drop passes. Do you feel like? Um, you sort of missed out on a chance to really be in this game and really take it to Georgia and maybe set the tone early there. 100%. Yeah, that's as accurate as can be. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we got to finish drives. That's the most frustrating thing right now. I mean, we can, we can drive the field, and that really doesn't matter if you can't put points on the board. So um, I know what we can move the ball. I know that. Um, can we score touchdowns? because that, that gets pretty old when you're not doing that. Uh, field goals are nice. We've, we've had this conversation the entire year. This isn't the first time we've had this conversation. That's, a, that's a, an area of the field that we have got to get corrected uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, every time you, you step foot inside that red zone, you're thinking touchdowns. That should be exactly what but everybody on that field and everybody on that sideline and on this team is thinking, we've got to score touchdowns, period. We're not settling. Uh, 
we'll, we take field goals, but that's, to me, not really what we're trying to accomplish when we, we get down in the red zone. So to answer your question, yeah, I mean, absolutely. You've got a, you got a, a really good team at home that you have a chance to go get 14 points and, and you know, be in the ball game and, and stay there with a team that you know is capable of scoring and, and playing really good defense and, and really solid special teams. That's how you keep yourself in a game. And when you don't, um, you know, that's you don't come away with points. And, and there was one. I mean, we're being aggressive. We're trying to we're going for it on fourth down. You got to do that against good teams. I think you have to be aggressive. You got to let let guys go out there and have a chance to make plays. And whether it goes our way um, in that play, I mean, that's that's really what we have to fight for. So you know, we can't bank on getting a call here and there. We got to fight for for everything we do out there. Um, and, and play to win that play, period. But you got to walk away with touchdowns at some point. And, you know, I'm the first one to, you know, I'm very aware of that, you know, especially with an offensive background. You got to, you got to score touchdowns, period, when you get in the red zone. And we haven't done that well enough. So that continues to be a work in progress, but damn, has got to change. And we need to have, we need to have seven points when we come out of that red zone. And, um, we will continue to make that a focus, and we will do a better job and not the same thing. Not going to continue to keep doing the same thing. We'll find a better way to put that ball in the end zone so that we do walk away with touchdowns. And that begins again on Sunday. And we'll work through that through the week, and then we go play on Saturday against Arkansas. We get in the red zone. We expect touchdowns. Michael Giddens. Hey, Coach, um, how do you plan to address uh, drops kind of here moving the rest of the season? Um, Auburn is on pace to kind of triple the amount of drops they had last season. Um, and are you looking at wide receiver rotations? We haven't seen Elijah Canyon the last couple of games. Uh, what do you plan to do there? Yeah, well, yeah, I, don't, I didn't know that stat necessarily. I know that we dropped the ball. I know there's been drops, and, and that's something that, you know we're we're going to continue to keep working on uh, as far as guys and rotation. I mean, like I said before, I got asked this. We practice, and, and guys earn opportunities to be out there on the field. So uh, we're going to put guys on the field that earn the opportunity to play because of how they practice. So that's and and that opportunity is there. We we need uh, to continue to find guys that will. You know, may be able to make plays for us. Um, the drop issue, it's frustrating. And, you know, I, I think we did some things this week that I thought uh, would address some of those things. Um, I don't know how many we had today. I, I didn't count that up at this point. Um, but those are going to happen. It's not, you're not going to have a perfect game. There'll be a drop here and there. And, and I know how it, it's so heightened at this point, but we have too many. At the end of the day, we have too many. And, you know, that comes back to, you know, a lot of just fundamentals of, of catching the football. And, you know, we're in a position. We made some tough catches today. There were some good plays made that we did catch. Now it's, now it's got to be the consistency of it. And right now that's where we're working the hardest is to try to be consistent in that area, period. We had drops in the LSU game. Um, and guys aren't trying to. I know that they're they're working hard at it. There are things they're doing, but if it's not working, it needs to change. And there needs to be, you know, not only just drills. There's only so many you can do with that. Um, but catching the ball, or the way you practice. Uh, I think the mentality of that that ball is your ball uh, when it's in the air. I think that's a big part of it. And and being uh, super aggressive when the ball is in the air and knowing you're going to come down with it. Um, those are things that, that we have got to continue to keep emphasizing, and we will. Uh, I told the players in the game, it's a long season. There's still a lot of football to be played. There's a lot of things that, uh, which is encouraging to me, there's a lot of things that we know we're not there yet that we are going to keep working hard at. And as we install things in this program, um, it doesn't happen overnight. I, I know we all want it to. I want it to. You want to have instant success, but then you just see little, you just see things that that you've been through before as a coach, 
that come up that you got to address. And so every single thing that we do every single week, there's always something that has to be addressed. What you want is new mistakes to show up. You want the old mistakes to be corrected, and you want a bunch of new mistakes so that you can correct those. And then you're making progress. The old is, is corrected, uh, may show up every now and then, but for the most part it's handled, and the new mistakes come, and you're able to fix those as the week goes on or after a game. You know, that gives you things to coach every single week. And we have got to correct some of the old mistakes and, and make that permanent. Um, and get on to the new mistakes because every week we make new mistakes, which is good. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. But it, it starts to, to add if we're not fixing the things that we, we did the week before that we know it needs to be corrected. Just Jeff Spiegel. Spiegel. Yeah, Brian, we, we, would you assess uh, Stetson Bennett's play and, and, and how effective he was against your defense? You want me to assess their quarterback's play? Yeah, absolutely. yeah I mean, I'd say good enough because he won the game from a quarterback standpoint. I think I, I said this before. He's a good player. I, I've watched his film. I think he's a really good player. He, he managed well. He, uh, he made I – mean, he looked like he made good decisions out there. He had good throws. Um, but, you know, at the quarterback position, how, how you look at a game and how the quarterback played – you know, really from, from the outside looking in, he won the game. So he played good enough to win. And, you know, that's all I'm sure, you know, he cares about for his team. So um, his coaches have an assessment for him. But he's a good player, and, and uh, he did the things he had to do tonight to win. You said that you were, you know, encouraged that there's half of a season left to keep working on some of the stuff y'all need to do. Just what are your kind of overall impressions now that you've played with this team or you've coached this team um, through half the season? What do you think are the major things y'all are going to need to work on? Yeah, well, there, there's a lot. Um, you talk about the major, I and mean, there's a lot of things we have to work on. But, yeah, I'm encouraged because I, I love football. And you only get to do this for so long every year. Now, we don't get a chance to play football the entire year. So there's a season for a reason because there's a lot of, you know, it's a physical game and there's a lot that goes into it. But I love football, so I'm encouraged every time you get a chance to get back on the field and play. Um, and you go, you, you have the ups and downs. You lose a game, uh, you're disappointed. Nobody likes that, can't stand it. You win a game, uh, you enjoy that. But there's always ways, you know, you can get better. So you're focused on the things that you want to do to get better. Um, but yeah, I'm encouraged because I want time with this team. I want, I want to have meaningful things that we get to do with this team. And those meaningful things are games every single week. I, I, we need to spend time with this team and this program to continue to keep developing it. So yeah, I'm encouraged that we get to keep doing that. And I, and I get excited about that as much as, you know, it hurts to, to not win and have the type of success that you worked hard to get, it's still encouraging to have a chance to come back and do it again and, and to fix those problems and to, to work hard at developing drills and, and coaching points that can really make a difference for players. That's our job. Our job is to get the very best out of every player on this team. And they want it. Like our job is to think about those things for those guys so when they go out there and they're doing all the work physically that we're putting them in the best position to, to be successful. Uh, it was that way when I played. Uh, it's no different now. So, yeah, we, we have a, you know, every coach on this staff should feel that way too. Like I want to get back to work. I'm, I'm, we got things to do tonight, but I want to get back to work tomorrow because I want to get on that film and I want to correct the things that we didn't do well and I can't wait to get back out there on Sunday and address them and then get ready for Tuesday's practice after we spent a few hours um, getting ready for Arkansas and then go execute that game plan throughout the week. You know, that's the, that's the part that um, hopefully everybody in this program really enjoys. Like, you love football. It, it sucks to lose, but you get another chance to go play. Like, that's as a competitor. That's why you do what you do, and, and we'll find a way to play better. That's the challenge this week. Um, so 
many of the things you all have asked me about, they'll continue to be addressed. Um, we'll make sure that you know we don't skip steps when it comes to those things. But also, I, I want to see this team, you know, come out on Sunday. I don't need to have a bunch of guys out there just, you know, going half halfway in the practice or in the meetings. Um, you know, we lost a game. And that disappointment should be fuel for the fire. Like, now what? And I, and I hope everybody responds like that. It doesn't have to be the, this big, raw, raw, motivational thing. It's just like, we got to get back to work, and everybody knows it. And when you've got a team that's like that, then you have, then you have a mentality in your program. Um, doesn't guarantee you win, but it sure as hell is a lot more enjoyable when you got guys that, that want to succeed and, and show up every day to do that. You know, then you can put a good plan together, that's our job, and allow those guys to go out there and execute it. Like, that's how this whole thing has to come together. And, um, you know, we, we lost a game this year, that Penn State game. It was, that was disappointing. But we came back and we won. We found ways to win. We lost a game today. What do we do now? How do we respond? You know, that's, that's what I need to know about this team is how we're going to respond this week going into the Arkansas game. And before we ever play it, you're going to know a lot about, we're going to know a lot about this team before we ever play that game. Like how guys come out. There, there's guys that are, that are a little banged up. There's guys that, that are disappointed. There's guys that have been you know, coached on the same exact thing and will be again over and over and over. And, and what's, what's our toughness going to look like as we step on the field tomorrow and practice? No one's going to get to see it but us. And that's the best part for me, in my opinion, is when nobody's out there and, and seeing it, I want to see the guys that respond to that and how they're going to come out and work. Uh, myself included, everybody on the staff, and every player on this team. Got time for two more, two more quick ones. First, Mark Murphy. Yeah, Coach, could you talk about the importance of explosive plays, limiting them, and also making them? Seems like those two big long passes for Georgia sort of changed the momentum of this game, and you guys had a couple, but not a whole lot of them. No, we didn't. We didn't have many. Uh, I'm not sure how many we've had this year. Uh, explosive plays are critical. Uh, we gave up some, and, and they're going to be explosive plays. What you know, sometimes you know, an explosive play, when you're talking about you know 20 yards or more on a pass play, does not have to be a touchdown. It can be explosive, but you don't give up the touchdown. You give your chance yourself a chance to play defense and, and try to go win in the red zone if, if they're able to get down there. Uh, so you don't want to give them up, and you got to find ways to get them. You know that just it swaps the field, and, and a lot of what explosive plays do is they change field position. And even if they don't score, even if you don't get points out of it, you still create an opportunity for your punt team, for example, to go pin uh, the opposing offense down there and get them backed up. And if you can do something on defense, then you're able to get a punt return and you're on the plus side of the field. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that explosive plays do in this game. They create field position. They obviously create momentum. Like you said, and those are those are keys to victory, in my opinion, are, are the explosive plays. Uh, but you got to you got to make them happen. And it, you know, uh, Georgia was able to make them happen with some explosive throws. You can make it happen on a run. You can make it happen on a short throw uh, when you break a tackle. But those do those do change the momentum. And it gets you into uh, a flow for from an offensive standpoint when you're able to hit those. Um, it obviously puts the defense on their heels at times when you have explosive plays because now they're trying to recover from that, you know, what just happened, and then, you know, offensively you're ready for that next play. So, um, yeah, we, we don't want to give those up, and we certainly want to create them, and we need to find more ways to do that because it does create the momentum that we need. Joe Goodman. Yeah, Brian, you said that the uh, Georgia is the type of team that you want Auburn to be. Do you feel like this is a rebuilding job? Um, I don't necessarily – I think there's things that, that we want to do <clears throat> in this program that, yes, we're going to have to build. Um, so – Rebuilding implies that, you know, like this season, 
um, we're playing it, but we're, we're looking towards the future and all that. We're always recruiting. That will never change. Uh, but our focus is on this team. And, you know, the, the players on this team being a foundation for, you know, the new staff and, and things that we want to do moving forward. But, you know, as you look at a team like Georgia, and, and my point behind that, they've, you know, Kirby's done a good job. They've got good players. Um, they're consistent. Uh, each and every year, you know, they're they're one of the better teams. They have they have themselves in the mix. Um, I think every year, you know, he's been the head coach, and, and that model of consistency and other teams like that. That's exactly what we want to create here at Auburn. We want to be a team that has consistency like that. We want to be a team that is is able to uh, put this program in a position every single year um, to play for championships. And, and we've said that. I mean, that's that's the goal. The goal is, is to be that type of program. So, uh, yeah, I've always admired teams that, that have success. I've always admired teams that have um, success year in and year out. Uh, and I've always, you know, really wanted to, to be a part of that. And, you know, to find ways to create a, a program where you're able to do that so you can get, you know, really good players every year that want to be a part of what you're doing. Uh, you have coaches that, that are really good coaches that want to be a part of what you're doing. You have players in your program that every year are challenged, even after a great year, to be better than what they were. So, you know, that to me, that's that's the success model, in my opinion, of, you know, the type of program that, that we want to have and what we want it to look like. Um, and, you know, George has been able to do that. So. Right now, I mean, we're focused on this season. We, we have a lot of football left to play. We have a lot of games and opportunities to go out there and win and have a chance to have a really, really successful season. And then also know that, um, you know, we want to do that again. It's not just that if we are able to do those things, and I hope we are, and I believe our team can, then we want to also make sure as we're putting that together that we're creating a, a model where when the off season begins, uh, we're back to, to working on how do we do that again? How do we and how do we do it better? And, and what are the pieces that we need to make that happen? So, um, yeah, I mean, that's not just when I came to Auburn, but I've always felt that way about good football teams and, and how, you know, you want a program to look. So there's a vision for where we want Auburn football to be. And that vision is, you know, every single year we have an opportunity to be uh, considered as as one of the teams, you know, to play for a championship, and then, you know, ultimately, you know, to play for a national championship. So, I think that's why you come to a place like Auburn, you know, because you want to be able to do that, and that's a lot of work, um, but that's the vision for our program.